but who are the players you are going to be watching? I decided to give you guys a primer of five names to watch over the next three days. It's not just tonight, but we have Saturday and Sunday. Here are my five guys who I think are going to tear it up on the combine that you might want to set aside some time to watch. Let's start with number five. Let's go to Minnesota, where we get a six foot three, 255 pound linebacker named Boye Mafe. Boye Mafe is raw, Boye Mafe is tenacious. Boye Mafe is incredible. This guy, 42 games played, led Minnesota in sacks each of the last two years, and is a laser off the edge. Big body, 260 pounds. Where's number 34? I always like that for a defensive player as an edge. 2022 Senior Bowl. This guy shows up, has two sacks, forces a fumble, is the best defensive player on the field. I think he's going to test really well at the Combine when they get going on Saturday. All right, number four. Let's go with the unanimous top corner in the draft. Best nickname maybe in the draft. Sauce Gardner out of Cincinnati. Ahmad Sauce Gardner. First team All-American. Conference Defensive Player of the Year. Only gave up 122 yards in coverage the entire season. Yes, not one game, not in the conference playoff. No, the entire season, 122 yards. Never gave up a receiving touchdown his entire college career. And he's big. He's six foot three. He's 200 pounds. And as much as we talk about Ritter and what he did on the offensive side of the ball, Gardner on the defense of the ball was a beast. All right, number three. If he's the top corner, we got the top safety. Let's go to Kyle Hamilton. Said it earlier this week. I don't know where he gets drafted. Can he go top five as a safety? It's not very likely. I mean, you've got guys in the past like Eric Berry and Eric Turner and several others who have done it, but it doesn't matter. This guy is the man. Kyle Hamilton was the captain of the Notre Dame defense. Started his first seven games before suffering a season-ending knee injury. He should be just fine. First team all ACC. He had four picks his freshman season where he started 13 games. We played 13 games and was all over the field. He played Purdue this year. He had 10 tackles, two pass deflections, interception. He's the man. He's the Pied Piper. He's the guy at the safety spot. All right, now let's get to the big boys. Number two on my list. I'm going to Georgia and I'm going with one of many Georgia defenders who are going to put on a show this weekend. Trayvon Walker. He might be your combine superstar in this thing. 6'5", weighs in at 275 pounds. Started all 15 games. Yeah, they played 15 games at Georgia this year. And number 44 was all over the field. In the national championship game against Alabama. Had a sack, had three tackles. And if you remember, he's the one who ran down the wide receiver, Hall, on a 24-yard completion late in the game. Chased him down the entire field, brought him down at 275 pounds. He had a sack in each of the 2021 college football games, but uh, playoff games. But I'm talking six foot five, 275, absolute freak show when it comes to what he's going to do at the Combine. And number one, for the guys who are working out. Now, I know Evan Neal might be the number one overall pick, and he's sized up and looked amazing on an Instagram post yesterday when he measured in, but he's not going to be working out. I want to go to the guys who are going to be working out and let's go to NC State where Iki Nakwanu is my guy. I hope I pronounced that right, Iki. Let's get right into his footage. Iki Aquanu was an absolute superstar. He's a 31 starts in three seasons. He's a first team All-American. He had a reported 11 pancake blocks in one game against Louisiana Tech. His brother plays at Notre Dame. His father was a basketball star in Nigeria. This guy is an athlete, but he's also an amazing kid. I, eclectic is the word when you talk about interests and intelligent is what everyone says. But look at what Stacey Dales posted yesterday onto her Twitter feed here when they were interviewing Icky and what he's all about. Whoever gets him will be winning. What a player, what a personality. He says his greatest attributes is physicality and dominating nature. However, he also specialized in musical theater as a kid, performed in The Jungle Book, Aristocrats, 101 Dalmatians. He was the lead dog, and that's not like some cliche. No, the actual lead dog, Pongo. He was him in 101 Dalmatians. Icky's got a great personality, but he is not a guy you want to mess with on the field. There is my list. Next three days. Circle them, put them in pencil, put them in pen, whatever you want to do. There are so many young men who are going to see their dreams realized this weekend. Here are the five that I think are going to stand out. Let's go back to the studio in New York. Michael Robinson, you competed at a combine so many moons ago. What do yeah. you think of my list? Top five guys. Oh. Shots Dude, great job, Peter. Great job, man. You got my guy in there. 
Uh, Kyle Hamilton, Ooh. I think he's a star at the safety position. To your point, don't know exactly where he's going to get drafted, but whoever drafts this kid, they get a guy that can play in the slot. He can play big nickel. Um, uh, he can play in the back. He can play in the back end, go sideline to sideline. He can be the box safety. He can blitz. He has um, uh, sacks uh, in his career. I mean, this kid is everything, and he's a playmaker uh, at the safety position. He actually gets interceptions, eight interceptions in his three-year career. I, I think he has the opportunity, James, to like change the safety. Look at his interception, mm. right? And, and I like the Came fact. And, 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 and Hamilton, Matt Hamilton, sent me a note. He, he used the fact that he was on the Florida State sideline to take off his helmet mm. and kind of let him know about it. This is the best Florida safety in all the college space. football. You know what I'm saying? So I think this kid has an opportunity to redefine the position and be a superstar uh, and be a key defensive piece. I like Kyle Hamilton. He's a baller. Clearly you do. I do. Uh, M. Rob, you and I are talking about a couple of running backs we have our eyes on today. So, Shregs, uh, I know the running backs are getting going today. want to get excited about them. And it doesn't look like, at least now, that there's a Najee Harris in this class, right? A surefire first-round pick. Talk to me about the running back class as a whole and what we should be excited about walk today. Mm. <laughs> really good, really deep, and really interesting. Brees Hall out of Iowa State is considered to be probably the top one, but you get right down to it. You get the Michigan State young man, and then you get Dalvin Cook's little brother who absolutely tore up the SEC at Georgia. Wasn't necessarily the number one running back there, but he's supposed to put on a show today. Very good, like, like we said with the quarterbacks, very good, strong class. I'm curious to see who stands out tonight. I love it. I love it. I'm going back to your, your top five, though, Peter. And while we're while you're talking about one player in particular, I was having like a vision about <laughs> watching a game on Sunday, and, and Tony Romo and Jim Nance are doing the game, and, and Tony's there, and he's going, this is going to be an opportunity. They're going to have to get after the quarterback, Jim. You know, and then all of a sudden, you hear Jim Nance say, and it's Boye Mafe. Like, and you hear it coming out of Jim Nance's mouth, that he's the guy, and he gets there to the dope. quarterback. I just, I was like visualizing what is. his NFL career is going to be like. And, and that name coming out of Jim Nance's mouth, because it's a fantastic name. I love everything about it. And, and, and Aquano is the other guy that I, I, I'm going to talk about later in the show. Not only was he Pongo, I mean, he was a, a baritone and a tenor oh. in choir. That's oh. a tough gig there, Mom. That's a tough gig to have that range for a big man. This guy is Get really, really fun to, the second level. to watch. Okay. We're going to talk about him a little bit more. But th those are the guys that I, I just that jumped out at me, Peter, from your list. Yeah, and it's such a cool night tonight because you get the big boys with the offensive linemen, but you also get the running backs. We'll have Sean O'Hara, Joe Thomas. We'll also have Maurice Jones-Drew on the field talking to the players. So it's a cool event tonight, and we'll see who stands out.